Yes, today in this video we will discuss about the steps to integrate Google Sheet API with the Spring Boot project and how can we actually do the cloud operation using REST API on Google Sheet. So to achieve this, we actually I uh, I uh, segregated this problem into three sub problems. The first thing we have to get the Google Cloud credentials. And the next step is to create a Spring Boot project and the third step is we can simply just uh, integrate Google Sheet with a Spring Boot project. So let's do the first step. We have to visit this console.cloud.google.com and here I already opened this part and we have to uh, log in with our Gmail account and then here we have these options API and services I am and admins. So we have to go with this API and services. We have to create a project. Okay, got it. Now the project name is this and location is this. So it could be uh, we can mention the name uh, company name over here and the project name. Project name should be relevant. So Google Sheet. I'm just putting Google API integration with Spring Boot. Simply Google API integrations. And uh, we do, if you are doing individually, if you don't have any organizations, you can simply put no organizations. Now create it. will take some time yeah now it's done so project project is created here right so this so right so we have uh, the project is created google api integrations and we have to enable the apis here we have options you can see plus enable apis and services you can click on this we here we have all the api listed we can simply whatever what what whatever the apis we are we have to integrate we can simply check that api so here we have to enable this google sheet right so now we are a we this this google sheet api is enabled with our project google api integrations now we have to create a credentials so we have to go with this credentials tab here we have option of plus create credentials we have to create oauth client id configure concentra screen So this project is for external right now so we can simply choose this external create now app name so google sheet Yeah, so here we uh, we have to put the app name and then supported email ID. These two fields are mandatory, rest we can ignore, save and continue. Okay, here we have to give the credentials, developer contact. Okay, so we can simply give the same credentials, no problem. Right. Okay. 
we are getting errors an error what is an error occur while saving the app right now uh, we have to mention the scopes as well here so in this since we have planned to access the google uh, sheet api just click on this add or remove scopes I'll explain why scopes are required. Right now, since we are uh, creating a credentials, we can simply add the scopes here. So here we got the list of scopes. Okay, so here we can simply search sheet. So one is uh, spreadsheets, and the second one is spreadsheets that read only. So we have to choose the spreadsheets because this will give us all the permissions okay now update it test users now save and continue we have we have to add test user as well uh, if we if we have uh, we have to add any we, we can add any users if we wanted to allow them to test APIs then we have to simply give them access so here we can simply give the test user save and continue so summary so the application type is external app name is google api integrations beginner.tech is 12 at gmail.com okay scope is google sheet api only back to dashboard so now this app is in testing mode if we wanted to move in production then we have to publish this app so right now this is in testing mode so we have to be with testing mode only credentials here we can see now we have we have created application types so we have to choose the choose this web applications okay here again we have to give the relevant name google api integration here we required add uri as well it, it it's again depends on the like uh, uh, what kind of uh, redirect uri we have so based on that we have to configure over here right now i'm just keeping it as blank once we once we are once we uh, like uh, once we move ahead and uh, once we are going to integrate the apis then only based on the requirement we will add the uris here now i'm kidding right so here we got our uh, client id and client secret key okay so google api integration project is created okay and uh, yeah so we have to we required json file actually google credential json file and we will get once we click on this google api integrations so here we have download json file this is the credentials key we required this but not now once we uh, finish our uh, second phase like uh, once we created a spring board project and at the time of uh, integration we required this uh, credential.json file so as of now we can simply uh, leave this part so this is the way to uh, yeah right so we have to save this right so this is the way to create uh, to get the credentials for a uh, google cloud whatever the services we wanted to access we can simply we have to enable those services 
right now we are just specific to google cloud sorry we are just specific to google sheet api so we have chosen only google sheet google sheet api this is enabled right so right now we do not have any data over here once we once we uh, once we have once we done the integration part then definitely we will get some traffic over here right so this is uh, for uh, like uh, this is the way to get the google cloud credentials uh, in this video we have to cover only this part in the next video we will see how to create a springboard project and the next in the third video we will see how to integrate the uh, Google Sheet API with Google uh, with Spring Boot project. Thank you so much.